Well, potential lake flooding is on the mind of Governor Cuomo for the second time in two weeks. He came to Alcott in Niagara County to update residents on what steps the state is taking. Channel 2's Dave McKinley was there today as the governor announced that he was issuing now an emergency order to help curb the effects of flooding if it comes as expected. The governor says there's no way to prevent the flooding. The best you can do is be the best prepared you can to take steps to mitigate the flooding should it occur. Thus the move he announced today. I'm going to declare an emergency order for the affected communities. The first thing it does is establish a five mile per hour speed limit within 1000 feet of the lake shore. This is aimed at cutting down on the wake from boats to mitigate shoreline damage. The emergency order will also allow the state to bypass normal procurement procedures in order to more quickly acquire flood fighting materials like this aqua dam set up near Alcott Harbor and send in 200 additional National Guard troops. We're also going to be purchasing additional pumps so that homeowners and businesses that may sustain flooding can have access to it very, very quickly so they can pump out their uh, their homes and businesses. Every situation is different, though. That's a new one. Governor Cuomo was speaking about the situation involving Randy Honberg of Alcott. Well, you know, sir, they say there's one in every crowd and you're the one. I guess so. Congratulations. <laughs> well, thank you. Holmberg bought this Lakeshore property, which continues to rapidly erode from the estate of a deceased man who was obviously in no position to apply for aid two years ago after the flooding occurred then. And because he didn't own it long enough to be eligible by the time he took title, he faces a $100,000 bill if he wants to have boulders he needs installed at the bottom of the cliff here in hopes of saving his property. Being the average homeowner, that uh, I don't think we have the type of uh, monies. It's a disaster that's just in slow motion. He wanted to know from the governor if he could be made eligible. While sympathetic, the state's chief executive had no direct answer. Let me have the DEC take a look at that. Okay, thank you. If there's a way to help, we will. The governor also says the emergency order would give the state more flexibility when it comes to installing flood fighting devices on private property. But he also stressed that if a private property owner did not want the state building anything on their property, then it was up to them and they wouldn't be forced to. In all cut, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.